What's up everybody? Welcome back. Today is our first day we're going to be able to go snapper fishing. Last weekend it was a little bit windy out so we probably we couldn't go out so today is our first day. It's Friday. Today we have my buddies Mac and Brian. Let's get to the live action. Miles offshore, 175 feet of water, and I think we found some. Dude, that's a fucking that's scam. a scamp and a, that's a yeah. screw crew. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> Dude, that's the biggest scam I've ever caught. We were just talking about I would say he's bigger than 16 inches. Holy <laughs> shit, <laughs> John. Look at that bad boy. Yourself, dude. <laughs> Got all day. That's 27. Nice scan. 26 inch scan. 26 inch scamp on that one. It's probably the biggest scamp I think I've ever caught on this boat. We've never caught one that big, have we? Yeah. Biggest one I've caught for sure. Rodney got him. Rodney. Gonna bleed him out. Yeah. Bad start, gentlemen. Definitely looks like snapper. It does. <laughs> We're marking plenty of fish down there. Hopefully there's some ARS. Got two nice scamps. Let's see what happens. Nice to get a tuna. Alright, new spot. I'm not marking a whole bunch, but we'll uh, give her a shot here see what happens. Tuna just jumped out of the water right there. Yeah, it did. Two? Tuna jumped out of the water right there. Just skied on something. <laughs> it did. It just went that was a tuna, wasn't it? It was a torpedo looking object. <laughs> football shape too. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a big football jumped out of the water. A big football. I wonder if this camera picked it up. It made this camera this little camera may have picked it up. Dude. Okay, be no skin. 
Mm-hmm. That was him. Keeper? Yeah. Good one. Good one. Oh, damn. Well, <laughs> we're catching the fish that we never catch, but we're not trying to catch this fish. Three 20 plus inch scam grouper in the box and not a red snapper in sight. Red snapper in sight. <laughs> make it make sense. It don't make any sense. We're showing they're up. Something's up 30 foot off the bottom. It's probably that damn shark. It is hot out here. Slick calm. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But it's hot. When it's windy, we want it to be calm, calm. When it's calm, we want a breeze. This may be a bigger fish. Are we ever gonna get that net out, Mac? Yeah. Brian, you wanna, we're not too busy. Yeah, where's it at? Underneath your feet. What'd you drop? Uh, Tom Tate Grunt. I think this is another grouper. Got some weight to it. Oh, come on. Oh, he's floating up. Look at that. Dude, if this is a scam, it's a bad one. It's a giant scam. That is a giant fucking stud scamp. <laughs> John? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. They're getting bigger. <laughs> they got pretty gnarly gill rigs. Yeah, they do. That's a good one. Good. What everybody doesn't know is John used to guide only scamp trips <laughs> right out of college. Did pretty well. <laughs> That's crazy. I've never caught that one pretty school. Ever. Especially at that size. Not since your scamp guide is. Yeah. Yeah, those are massive. Probably another scamp because it dug for a second and then gave up. That looks like snapper down it there. It really though. does. All right, this is the spot we stopped at before earlier this morning and kept getting shark, caught a couple scamp, and then moved on and we came back and it looks like there's still fish here and. See what this one is. Another scamp. Is it really? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> FWC, if you're watching, I believe the bag limit needs to go up. <laughs> it needs to be lower. We have a scamp problem. <laughs> <laughs> Mac, have you ever seen that before? We we'll have a scamp problem. Must have catch this many scamp in a row. This is the only fish we keep in the scamp. Never. And another one. And another one. This is bananas. I don't think he's gonna make it. I think they see I mean, that's number five scamp, and I think we've only caught maybe one keeper this year so far. Crazy. If I remember. I think it's only one, and he was like 18 inches. Those are 24 plus. Oh, what is on? Mac, do you want 
Yeah, he's dropping down. He doesn't have a he scamp too, right? Yep. Scamperoony. Found the scamp honey hole. Need to rename the spot, whatever it is. We didn't name this yet. I'm gonna think it's gonna be well we didn't name this. It's not gonna be hard to come up with one. I think we can only no, we can get more. Right, so we're ready to go down there and do some more work. Yep. <laughs> it doesn't take long. <laughs> I feel like I'm fucking brim fishing. <laughs> <laughs> like brim fishing? Yeah. Dude, as soon as you hit the bottom, does that bait Damn, was we're out here spawning? That bait was freaking out. Oh! Oh my god. Hopefully, this is a snapper. Either that or something just grabbed the. Bait that was hanging out of the night mouth. crawler down on that one, John. Was that was it a night crawler or <laughs> red wiggler on that one? Red wiggler. Dude, there's got to be snapper uh, there. Has to. Scamp aren't doing this. No, they're way up in the column. Mm -hmm. That's twenty. That's thirty feet off the bottom. That's probably my fish though. But there's whatever's underneath it followed my fish up. Yeah. Golly! Oh. Where are you out? Dude. Another one. Let me guess. That's a 22 scamp. inches? No, it cool. may be bigger than that. <laughs> this is... I mean, if we came back with two scamp, we would have had a good oh, day. Is this number six? We can keep nine, right? Three each? Four each. Four each? Shit. But it goes against your group rack. About, about to... I think we better not get any stinkies. What's your group rack? Is it four? We're about to roll up to the fillet table like we know something. Ha, look at these guys with their ARS. How many times have you come out? And you say the phrase, man, a scamp would be sweet. <laughs> right? Yeah, we're like, you know, can't quit catching red snapper. Like, God, oh, man, a scamp would be awesome. <laughs> when was the last time you caught a scamp? Oh, I've been there. I think we've only. I mean, that's number five scamp, and I think we've only caught maybe one keeper this year so far. It's crazy. If I remember, I think it's only one, and he was like 18 inches. Those are 24 plus. All right, hopefully this one will be a snapper. Oh, snapper. Oh, snapper. We're in like 175 feet of water. Nothing but scamp grouper, so we're going to probably move in after this. Back to about 165, 150. And I was reeling up. Probably about halfway up. Pause for a second to look and see what Brian got and well, hopefully got hammered. Hopefully you found the ARS. <laughs> Here, I got you, John. Could be a fucking well. Tuna would have made it run. Though. Oh yeah, you have. <laughs> yeah, Are you putting this one in the hammered. box, Brian? Yeah, I'm, I'm helping John out real quick, and then it's a shark. There's some long nose pliers. Damn, I must have caught a small lane down there. He ain't that what I caught. Oh, that just broke my pole. Broke my pole. Shark did? Yeah. Oh god, I hate him. That fucker. Wow. That was my favorite pole. You and me for dinner? 
Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. That's a mag's custom rod. Oh, dude. Were you holding it or was it in the... Smack the gum. The uh, T-top? Yeah. Well, hopefully we got that on camera. Alright, new spot. Either going to be a bunch of big snapper or kind of... I don't know, they're off the bottom a little bit, so... Could be a bunch of bee liners too, you never know. Oh boy. Smammered? Smammered. On a squid. That feels like a snapper. Yeah. Yeah. Is that on the jig head? No. Knocker. Knocker. A piece of squid. I think this is ARS. Target species acquired. Is it? Yep. Rose. Rose. I think it is anyway. Looks like it. It's not a huge one, but it's not a slacker either. Oh, yeah. That's a decent one. Shit. Take that. Oh, yeah. Grab that net. Oh, you gotta be over 20 inches. Ooh! I would flip them, but. It's our first one, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's precious cargo. <laughs> Probably not a good idea to do that. Oh, yeah. It's 20. I will go all day. I don't know. I don't know. How oh, heavy you have on that knocker? Six. I'm about to it may be eight. Six or eight. I think it's been rolling around in the boat so long at the. Uh, doesn't really show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> May lost an ounce too. Uh, lost a pound. Seven and three sixteenths. I'm like going to diet. <laughs> it's got to be eight because it's like whipping to the bottom. Matt, Matt, Matt. Rodney, Rodney. Is Rodney a better fisherman than you? <laughs> that was never a question. Was, he told me to put the chum bag out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a big one. Let me get away from you. <laughs> well, I heard a big splash. That was a rod tip hitting the top of the water? <laughs> no, that's what made me look up. It's not in the water. <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't see something that's right in the sun, I can't really tell. Looks like a snapper. He's big. He's big. Grouper. Is it a grouper? I don't know. We could use one of those, too. We haven't kept one of these yet, right? Is there an aggregate, though? Yeah, but I don't know how many. We're going to have to look and see. Oh. Rodney got one for me, dude. <laughs> oh. oh, he broke off. Oh. I got you that time. This is bigger than the last one. You got about 160 feet to go. <laughs> I like to prepare early. Yeah. Ooh. Were you right on the bottom or just off? On the bottom. 
squid on a knocker rig. Looks like ARS, doesn't it? He fought like a big snapper, so mm -hmm. hopefully it is. Is that another grouper? That would be uh, another scamp. No. That's or a big old red grouper. Oh, yeah. oh, cool. Dude, look at that fire oh, truck. Get the fuck No, sir. Whew. Dude, that is a nice fucking slob. Look how little he was hooked. One more heavy run. A toad, sir. Oh. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I told you I was getting famous. That is gnarly. Man, I was so open that was a red snapper. <laughs> well, it's about 110 degrees out here and oh, no wind. Last weekend was too windy to come out. This weekend, there's zero wind and it's hot. But we're catching fish, so I'll lose a couple pounds today. <laughs> no need for a carnivore diet. Right? <laughs> there he is. Free line. Free line. Oh, baby. Yeah. Is it a tuna, Bob? It's a tuna, Bob. It's a tuna, Bob. Yeah, it's a tuna. coming at me. He is swimming right at me. Get the gaff! Is that your blood? Oh shit, he got you good. Damn. You alright? Yeah. I'll probably be feeling that this week. Where are you going, Mac? We switch this to center. Stalemate. Huh? We're at a stalemate. Drill <laughs> the wrong way. No, the handle. <laughs> Like this fish in the shade. <laughs> Somebody get the fans out. Oh, he's straight now. Oh. So that's a tuna? I am not. Is it a shark? Uh, it could be a tuna. It did run pretty good. Yeah, that was blistering right off the strike. I got color. It's tuna. a giant tuna. It is a massive tuna. <sighs> oh my god, John. <laughs> it is a fucking totem tuna. This is bigger than the last one. Dude, duh. It might be a yellow fin. It's a yellow fin, I think, Mac. No. Can we keep that? Look at the sickles. I don't think we can keep that yellow fin, can we? No, it's not a yellow fin. <laughs> I was just kidding because it's huge. <laughs> oh my god, that man. I, uh, I absolutely knew it. Oh, yes. 
Look at those colors. Dead weights. Oh my god. What happens when you fish with John in the Gulf of Mexico? <laughs> Just took a gulp of more. He was just having a sippy boo. Yeah. He's just gonna circle all the way up. Let's be ready. Get behind me. Let me get over there. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, That is a fucking Drilled toad it. of a yellow fin, dude. Or a or black fin, rather, sorry. <laughs> I say, not a yellow fin. All I can keep thinking. Oh my <laughs> god. Dude, that's bigger than the last one for that sure. 20 pounds. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> Let me throw my 21-inch thread snapper in here. Got this, player. I gotta bleed this cat, daddy. I'm gonna pin that back out. out. Did you take a pin or a? Take it on that cigar. Pin. Tail hook pin on the back of the tail hook dorsal. Pin. Watch it, sucker. <laughs> We guessing. He's got an easy 20 pounds, isn't he? 23 pounds on the nose. Is that what you said? 23? Yep, 23. Nice. <laughs> That's the biggest tuna of the year. Oh, trucks. Get him. Oh. Sure you rocks. Oh, that on. Oh, pinfish. pinfish. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> you rock. You got fire truck? Is it shaking shaking? Oh. <laughs> 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 well, we can catch grouper. Apparently, we can't catch red snapper. Usually, the grouper is the uh. Stay on. Might have spoke too soon. Yeah, I think it's. What's your life? Oh, are you just taking it up? Oh, big old broom tails. This could be a big grouper that was up off the bottom. I don't know. As long as it ain't a gag. We ain't caught one of them yet. <laughs> oh no, that's what happened. Never mind. Shark. 
Wah, wah. Tax man. That's some bullshit right there, dude. Did you? Good job, Brian. Appreciate it, John. <laughs> Brian just caught a 15 pound red grouper. Had him down on the rocks and he uh, managed to get him out. I got hammered on the way down and then uh, started pulling even more and then. Kind of gave up, yet. brought back up half a group where the sharks are here again. Send it off. Send it off. Let's see what happens here. Nope. Oh, he's in the rock. Sounds like a hookup. <laughs> Let's see if I can get him out. Get away from the sharks. He got lighter, I guess. All of this <laughs> uh, well, Looks like a whole fish. Nice. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Not uh, huge, but we'll take it. And he has, dude, he has your cut, his piece of squid, and the cut, de er, oh, that cut bait you had put down. Not huge, but. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's still alive. Yeah, he'll do it. All right, guys. I'm not going to show you cleaning all this stuff because you've seen me clean some of this stuff already before. But these guys, you might not have. It's on the grouper. <coughs> I usually, where they you know, mm -hmm. hoop shooters. Trying not to get into the guts, but this guy's got a serrated side. Just outline them. Mm -hmm. On this side, if you watched my last video to the end, you'd have seen this. <laughs> 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 Man, this knife is so freaking sharp. I went right through the backbone. I see someone near me and shit. It's not like it's just rusty. Yeah. The big part is getting over this rib cage. And when you get to the backbone, you got to kind of angle down, mm -hmm. up, over, and down. Then you got to get back through the pin bones over the rib cage. Trace the cage. And then just these guys don't have a lot of red meat, so you can kind of kind of go close to the mm -hmm. skin. Beautiful. What's your system? Usually, um, lay it, rinse it, and it goes. Usually, rinse and tear it. We just lay them on top of ice. Mm -hmm. Just keep them cold. This side's a little bit tougher because you don't have a fillet on the other side, side to work yeah. with. Getting in the way. 
There's usually not that many flies here, but the way they did the improvement from Try and get his cheeks too. He's a little small. Yeah, but he's gonna. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, he's got a little medallion in there. Oops. Brand new knife. First time I've used it. What size is it? Dexter. Called the Dextreme. That's uh, the Jeremy guy uses those, doesn't he? Uh, no, he uses. What's he use? Um, I don't know, they're out of Alaska, I think, the company that he uses. There's not much meat here. This big grouper would have a nice chunk. It's like cutting out the blade steak on a shoulder blade. Yeah. Probably not worth it on this guy, he's a little... Hmm. Went through the effort. Only one thing we might try. Some, some trots. Some trots, man. Some trots, man. Main reason I bought this knife. You gotta get right here. There's a little. See that bone? Mm -hmm. Get under there, then makes the hole. collar. Isn't it? The collar, I think. Could be the collar bone. I don't know. Most of the fillets we won't rinse. Frying those suckers is awesome, man. Um, you could probably fry them. Most of them we won't rinse, but these you can rinse. This meat's more like more like dark meat on a chicken than it is, you know, fish. Mm -hmm. See how that meat is? Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. Good. Tuna time. God, what do you say this thing weighs? I have 23 on the bogey. It's all of it. Oh. Feels like it's more than that. It does. It really does. His stomach was full. <laughs> That's all Max Chum. <laughs> Don't tell him. <laughs> I gotta tell him. Never hear any of his <laughs> 
That's hilarious. Dude, that tuna was out there eating a while. 